What's up veterans, Terrell Morrell here from VA Claims Insider. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the top three things or mistakes that I hear from veterans all the time when it comes to their CMP exam. I've been doing this professionally for about six years now. And on my journey of educating veterans throughout the CMP exam uh, process, what I've noticed is number one, mental health exams. A lot of veterans spend a lot of time reading, understanding, and try to sound like medical professionals, using terms that they've never used before in their lives. I'm here to tell you throughout this journey, the best thing you can do is be your authentic self. Tell them exactly what's going on with you, how your life is being affected, and they'll listen. Exactly how it happened, when it happened, keep it strictly on the things that happened to you in service. They'll ask you questions about things that happened to you prior to service, things that happened to you immediately after service, but your main focus should be on how your service-connected or not service-connected disability was affected by your service. Whether that's an increase or an initial rating for your mental health, you want to be your true authentic self and tell them exactly what's going on with you. Give those specific examples, tell them in as much detail as possible, and confirm those things with actual actions or the causations of your mental health. Number two, for physical conditions at a CMP exam, a lot of veterans try to push themselves beyond the point of pain. You stop that medical professional or that CMP examiner and tell them it hurts. If you can only bend down so far, don't allow them to push on you beyond that point. It is measured with a device called a goniometer, which measures basically the angles of flexation, whether it be your arm, your wrist, your elbow, your back, your legs, your knees, your ankle. Those things are set on degrees, and that's how your rating is calculated. If it hurts you beyond that point, don't allow them to push and pull on you. Please tell them to stop. Please document it when you said it was stop. Please have them document when you said stop. And that should work out in the best favor of the veteran if you don't allow them to push you beyond the point of pain. And the third most important one, if you're forgetful like me, if you have to have notes, yes, I have notes in front of me as I'm doing this video right now, you have to bring them with you. You should want to have a clear picture of how your disability is affecting your life, when it happened to you in service, how's it affecting you now, and if you're better served by having those notes right there in front of you, you should give those things to the CMP examiner or at least have them there. Listen to them. Talk to them. Let them know that you have these notes and here's why. These are the incidents. These are the things that happened to me. These are the things that bother me. Go ahead and explain it to them right then and there and make sure that they're taking their notes and documenting your situation. Because once it gets to your rater, you have a better chance of being service connected for your disabilities. My name is Terrell Morrell. If this video has helped you or it can help somebody you know, then the VA Claims Insider Elite Program might just be the program for you. You can reach us at www.vaclaimsinsider.com or click the link below. Thank you, and I'll see you all around next time. Have a great day.